Hey guys, what's up? Worldwide here on a December 14th, 2016, the day before the PDC World Championship kicks off. And we just got a few stories we're going to talk about, so let's get into it. In the first bit of news, over on YouTube, it looks like Michael Van Gerwen has started his own YouTube channel. Well, aka probably his management team started the YouTube channel. But anyway, he's got a nice uh, near 11 minute long interview here. So you guys might want to check that out. Make sure you guys subscribe. He's up to 139 subscribers already today. So definitely worth a look. The uh, video was interesting. I liked it. So uh, make sure you guys check him out over on YouTube. MVG with his own YouTube channel. Okay, for the next bit of news, I think you guys will like this one. We're going to head over to Reddit Darts, and we're going to scroll down a little bit here, and check this out. If you guys missed the House of Flying Arrows, someone uploaded it here, so all you got to do, you can click on the actual link here, and it takes you to the Facebook page, which I avoid, but if you click on the comments here, six comments, it takes you to the actual thread, and from here, you can just click play, and there you go. Takes you right to the movie, so in case you guys missed that one, House of Flying Arrows, I don't think it was like the greatest dart movie of all time, but it was decent. I'd probably give it three, I don't know, yeah, three stars out of five. Ah, that's pushing it. I'd probably give it like two and a half stars out of five. It was a good movie, worth a watch, and if you want to kill an hour and 37 minutes, have at it. And the link will be in the description box or somewhere in the comments section. I don't know, just look down below and you guys will find it. So if you want to check that out, there it is, House of Flying Arrows. And holy shit, I'm jumping all over the place today. Here we over on Imager. So we're going from YouTube to Reddit to Imager. But check out this guy. He has absolutely nothing to do with darts, but look at the form. I thought this was crazy impressive. Just draining shot after shot. Ten consecutive shots in a row. But definitely, I'd like to see this guy on a dartboard. If he can do this, he definitely has some potential on a dartboard, right? Awesome. But anyway, the uh, link for this will be in the description box if you want to check that out. If not, oh, whoa! Okay, enough of a uh, beer pong guy. We're going to go over to Darts Corner Forum. And we're going to have a look and boom. Uh-oh. The dartsforum.co.uk. Looks like they're under attack or they've been hacked or something happened. But anyway, the popular forum has been down. It's been down for a couple weeks now, actually. And I got a message a few days ago from one of the owners, one of the guy that runs the Twitter feed. I think it was Gary or Wayne. But anyway, they've said that it's going to be back in about a week. And understandably, because this time of the year, their store, the Darts Corner store, is just doing massive amount of sales. So I think that's kind of the priority right now. So maybe a little bit after Christmas, you'll see this uh, Dart Forum up and running again. So just stay tuned, guys. Be patient, and they'll have it up sometime time soon well you definitely don't see this in the united states but this was in the new york times no less kind of awesome little bit of uh publicity for darts in the united states michael van gerwen had an article here de published december 13th yesterday and like with everything i'll have a link in the description box or somewhere in the comment section if you want to read this but it's quite a good read it's a pretty long article really so it goes down talks about michael van gerwen and the upcoming 2017 pdc world darts championship and not to be outdone, if we go over to Canada, CBC Sports, they have an article on The Rock. Canadian sharpshooter Ross, The Rock Snook. So a lot of you guys from the UK that might be watching this video, if you want to check out and learn a little bit more about Ross Snook, he's the only North American qualifier this year. So if you want to check that out, an equally good article here as well. So if you want to check that out, I will have the links in the description box or in the comment section. Check it out. And for the last bit of news here, I'm not really one to self-promote. I think, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to talk about. But, you know, I don't ask for subscribers that often. I don't tell you guys to like the video. But when I do reach a milestone, it is uh, it does mean a lot to me. And sometime last night, I crossed over 10,000 subscribers, which just blows my mind, to be honest. And actually, the day before that, I went over, and that's the big thing with my channel is the views. I don't know how I get the views, but anyway, yeah, the day before, I went over 11 million total channel views, which is just unreal, guys. And I have nothing to say to you guys except thank you. 
I really do appreciate it. And for the life of me, I don't understand why some of you guys tune in to some random American guy talking about darts. But I do appreciate it, guys. And in the new year, 2017, I plan on getting a new high-end computer. And I want to introduce a few new things. I want to help Americans watch the darts live. So I'm going to be doing some streams, some live streams with the PDC or the BDO darts. And there's going to be like a live chat box feature. So I got a bunch of new things planned for the new year. So just stay tuned, guys. And again, thank you very much. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.